Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to record activity in the unified audit log in Microsoft 365 Defender. In the previous video we learned about audit standard is enabled by default for all organizations with the appropriate subscription. But we'll have to start the recording to make sure that we are actually recording the activities in the unified audit log. So there are some prerequisites. You, should, you will need a Microsoft 365 tenant with licensing that, suppose, that supports 365 Defender and Microsoft Purview. And to run the PowerShell command lines, you will need to have Cloud Shell configured in the Microsoft portal. So let me log on to the portal and show you the place where you can uh, start the recording for the auditing logs. So I'm logged on to the portal for security. I will go and do compliance.microsoft.com. All right. I can do Microsoft Purview Compliance Portal. It will take few seconds to load up. And when you will scroll down, you see the options of audit. Here you see start recording user and admin activity. The bar that you see here, right? So. So if you do not see that blue bar which says start recording, it means that the recording is enabled. We can disable and re-enable recording with Exchange PowerShell commandlets as well. So when you click here, to complete this operation, your organization will need to set up to support customization. Would you like to do this? Now, if I say yes, this is my lab, this is my trial or evaluation portal so I clicked on yes to see what happens next it is on the same page let me do that again okay so I think it's doing something at the back end which would actually enable it so and same way you can use exchange PowerShell to start recording the audit logs so if I go on till the time that's doing I go on portal.azure.com I don't have any subscription here but you know how you can uh, load fire up the cloud shell I did that and then you will select the PowerShell it is it will say that I don't have any valid subscription but if you have the subscription you can follow the documentation to run the command lists to enable the recording the audit log recording for uh, the unified audit log I still don't see anything happening so but you get the idea right so how you will enable it so it says we are updating your organization to support customization please allow 24 to 48 hours before you retry this operation so as per this message you would need around 24 to 48 hours for the before the changes take effect all right and then there are ways when you wherein you can search the unified audit log. So you will use the audit log search tool in the Microsoft Purview Compliance Portal to search the unified audit log. If you will do that, the organization can view user and administrator activities. Right? For example, you might need to determine if a user viewed a specified document or purged an item from their mailbox. So Microsoft 365 services that supports the auditing are Azure AD, Azure Information Protection, Communication Compliance, Content Explorer, Data Connectors, Data Loss Prevention, DLP, Dynamics 365, eDiscovery, Exact Data Match, Exchange Online, Forms, Information Barriers. There's a whole list that you can follow. Now, if you want to search the audit log, knowledge that message. So when you are in the uh, purview compliance portal on the audit page if I go back I'm still on the audit page I'm just clicking it to refresh so you see the option which says new search right it's always disabled displayed by default you can configure the search criteria uh, from where you want the logs let's say so it's not allowing me to do that because it's making changes at the back end but when you enable you set the criteria right when you do that you mention the start date and the end date right so last seven days are selected by default you can select a time range b you can add in the activities here 
<clears throat> you can select the drop down list to display the activities that you can search for and then you will have the users tab here wherein you will select one or more users to display search results for and when you see the files in folder or site now here you can type some or all of a file or a folder name to search for activity related to the file or folder that contains the specified keyword and when you will hit search it will search using your search criteria and when you will view the search results as per your criteria so you will see that under results there is no data available because it's making changes at the back end so the results would contain date ip addresses user or the activity items details that you mentioned that you looked for and then you can export the search results to the file wherein it will give you an option to download all the results in a csv all right now there are few tips uh, to search the audit log you can select the specific activities you can search for all activities in the group now the normal searching that do all right i hope this was informative for all of you guys to discuss about unified audit logs or ual in microsoft 365 or purview if you have any further queries please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day